Well, obviously, the game did not start out the way that we would have liked for it to start. Um, you know, Virginia came, Virginia Tech came out and uh, played a really, really good first half. We didn't provide the amount of resistance that we needed to provide, and they jumped out to a, uh, you know, a sizable lead at half. And we came back in the second half. And we did a couple things right, but not enough to put ourselves in a situation to uh, have the ultimate outcome that we want, which is a win. Uh, so um, just uh, we've got we've got to continue to work and get better. Questions? Yeah. Any what were they doing in the first half offensively that was so tough to defend? Um, I mean they're they're a good. They're a very talented team. You know, no problems about that. But, um, you know, I look at the overall stat sheet and we get 14 offensive rebounds, we get 12 second chance points, we get 36 points into the paint, and we only shoot 17 goals for the game. Our two leading scorers that have shot over 120 free throws for the season combined don't shoot one tonight. Coach, two games in a row where I know you aren't getting to the free throw line as much as you won in that first half. Um, is it just settling for shots, or is it just not being aggressive enough taking the ball to the basket? It's those two things, and it's uh, politically correct if I can say it, some other things too. But our five guys don't have their energy. Danny got it to within 70, 66 there late, and Robinson sort of sneaks in to get that offensive rebound. You're talking about the second chance points. Like, how did he get under there to do that? I know it was a bad miss on, on uh, three. It was a bad miss. It was an air ball, I believe, and, and we didn't track the ball. He just stepped in front of, uh, I think Crawford got it and put it in. And then we didn't help ourselves. I think the very next time we touched the basketball, take it out of bounds, we turned it over. So that you know that that didn't help us out, uh, help us out either. You know we, we turned the ball over 13 times, only had um, 11 assists. Danny, it seemed like uh, to start the second half, the first three attempts tried to get the ball into into Dural. Was that something you talked talked about during the half? And is there anything that Dural needs to do to, to make himself more available down low? Is there do, do you need to get him more touches? Well, we want to get paint touches. And we talked about it by the pass and by the bounce. And, um, you know, so yes, all of our bigs can be, uh, make themselves a little bit more available. All of our guards can drag it downhill more. But, you know, we want to get paint touches by the pass or by the dribble, and we have to uh, continue to do that. That's when we play our best. That's when we're, the mo we're our most efficient, when we get paint touches. How, how frustrating was the end of the first half to give up five points in the last 20 seconds there? Shot the ball a little bit too soon. And then, uh, you know, we had fouls to give at that point, too. We could have taken a foul. So, you know, we didn't close the half uh, the way we wanted to at all. And, um, you know, we have to do a better, better, better job of that and, um, you know, working on those situations. And we'll continue to work on it and, and get better at it. But we have to recognize that when we're out there on the court. It seems like your team has made great strides on the boards over the last couple of months, a couple of weeks. But today you only had 11 assists on 31 made baskets. So what what's led to not sharing the ball quite as as well? I don't know if it's not sharing the ball. I think a lot of it is just missed shots. You know, I think you know we we didn't shoot the ball at a high clip in the first half, 37 um, percent. Shoot a little bit better, well, a lot better in the second half. We shoot 50 percent. We're not going to shoot 50 percent a lot of halves, but you know we, we certainly can shoot better than 37, and, that, and that's going to help out in that assist category as well. But, I mean, you have to give Virginia Tech credit. I mean, from the standpoint, if we shot the ball, we did great. Danny, was was Keyshawn on a minutes limit tonight, or what, how was he feeling? Did you gauge before the game? Or? Um, you know, he, he he had a good day of practice yesterday. He came out and uh, shoot around was good for him today. And, um, felt like he could go. I thought he gave us some really good minutes um, for the amount of time that he's been out. Um, so you know, it's, it's ease back into the situation. And uh, it was more so me than anything. Um, just making sure that uh, 
and ease them back into uh, his role. Those special situations that you're talking about, start of the half, end of the half, when they don't go right as much as I'm sure you practice them and go over them and watch film on them, I mean, is that especially irritating for a coach? Well, I think it's it's irritating across the board. You know, you, you know just when you talk about this and how we want to do things, so we want to do things, and you still have to go out there and execute. And, um, you know, that's just something that we'll, we'll continue to, to, to work and harp on our execution and, and, and try to get better in all those areas. Get it back. Coach, six of your next eight are against ranked opponents. How do you, you know, get ready for that grind? I don't think you have to get ready for it. It's part of the ACC. It's what we all signed up for. And, um, you know, there are no easy nights in this league. And we feel like it's the best college basketball league out there. If you like to play ball, let's go play. That's the mindset. That's the, that, that should always be a mindset. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.